The success and efficiency of aggregate production hinge not only on the machinery used, but also on the expertise of the crush operator. Implementing sound operational techniques can greatly increase the durability of a cone crusher. In a cone crusher, potent forces of destruction are always active, making the vigilance of the operator essential. An attentive operator can frequently identify a looming failure of a component that might be missed otherwise, thereby preventing mechanical damage and expensive operational interruptions. Follow these operational tips to achieve the desired output and prolong the lifespan of your crusher. The material fed into the hopper of the cone crusher dictates the outcome underneath it. Regardless of the material type, it must be homogenized, meaning the finer and coarser particles should be evenly mixed in the crushing chamber. If segregation of fine and coarse material occurs during the conveying process, this can lead to an uneven distribution within the chamber, with coarser material on one side and finer on the other. Such uneven loading can cause imbalance, inconsistent crushing, and extra stress on the crushing mechanisms. This results in reduced efficiency and liners that wear out prematurely. Intermittent bliss of fine material to a cone crushes chamber due to loading or conveyor problems can result in uneven wear on the liners. The crushing forces are intensified by the constant pressure of material from above. And this situation also allows the machine to fully engage in its crushing work. A crushing chamber that fluctuates between being fully and partially filled is akin to driving a core on the highway without using cruise control. The cycle of accelerating, slowing down, and then accelerating again leads to unnecessary fuel consumption and can adversely affect the car systems. In the context of cone crushing, it is advisable to maintain a consistently full chamber for optimal performance. Cone crushers are flexible in their application but should operate within certain guidelines. Using them for a 4 to 1 reduction ratio aligns with standard practice. Attempting a 6 to 1 or 8 to 1 reduction may push the crusher beyond its intended capabilities, negatively affecting its performance. While cone crushers can serve multiple roles in a sequential crushing sequence, not all applications are equally suitable. It's important for operators to understand the optimal uses of their cone crusher for maximum efficiency. Water sprays can be used to mitigate dust from crushing operations, but this can compromise the crushing efficiency. Material that is already wet upon entering the hopper tends to create issues. Dust particles bond with water molecules, causing finer materials to become sticky. This adhesive material doesn't easily exit the crushing chamber, resulting in unwanted pressure buildup, accelerated wear of liners, and diminished crushing performance. The importance of regulating the amount of moisture and cut cannot be overemphasized. Training plays a crucial role in the success of aggregate production. Proper training for operators can significantly prolong the lifespan of a cone crusher. When correctly maintained and operated, a unit is capable of processing material for 20 to 25 years before needing a major overhaul or replacement. However, the expected service life can be greatly shortened if sound operating practices are not consistently applied. Guidelines for best practices are ineffective if they are not adhered to.